morning friends. I think we are going to get one of those very, very special sunrises this morning. Um, one we haven't had in a while due to some of the clouds and things. And, um, you know, awesome. Feels sort of like it's about time for a beautiful cloudless sunrise and uh, maybe a nice time to talk about civility, a time to talk about some of uh, how we emerge from this long period of low-grade trauma from, from COVID that we uh, once again find ourselves hoping is coming to an end. And uh, part of the answer to that is some civility. Um, you know, if you had asked me what that meant a dozen years ago, I think the image that would come to mind would be um, a, a bunch of old bejeweled white people sitting around a table dining together and with, you know, laughing politely at each other's jokes um, and um, speaking with vaguely British accents for reasons no one quite understands. <laughs> Um, but, uh, but that definition has changed for me over time uh, and has become one that has to do with, with mutual respect, um, with listening to voices different than my own, um, with treating each other with kindness, some of those basic commandments to, to love each other and care for each other and, uh, you know, those are now the things that come to mind when I think of civility. This Sunday, the lectionary, which is just a fancy word for how we divvy up, how we pastor folks in churches divvy up uh, what scriptures to read on what Sundays. Um, this Sunday is the story of the prodigal son. Lots of pastors will be preaching on it. I'll be preaching on it at, uh, at 1030 at First Presbyterian Church of Daytona Beach if you want to join us. Um, but that story is about radical forgiveness, maybe, um, maybe radical civility. Like what might it look to take the next step beyond just a mutual respect, um, beyond just some mutual kindness? And, and mutuality is a tricky one because we cannot control how other people behave. We only get to decide how we behave. Um, so when we think about civility, uh, we can't think about it as a, as a mandate that we're giving to someone else. Here comes the sun, yay! Um, but as a mandate for ourselves, as a way to hold ourselves accountable, um, regardless of uh, how other people behave. And that's kind of the crux of that prodigal son story because the prodigal son asks for his inheritance early, basically wishing his father dead, takes off, squanders it, of course everything goes south, and then he comes back to be received with uh, supreme, unexpected, over-the-top, um, forgiveness and graciousness um, they throw a party they're like you figured it out and he came back hooray <laughs> um, so I invite you uh, you know a, a bunch of really incredible people uh, watch and comment on these posts so often so I would be really interested in what comes to mind for you um, when you think about civility and uh, invite you to put some of that in the comments if there's ideas or images or um, poems or whatever it is that comes to mind for you when you think about civility. Um, but then I would like you to think not just about sort of basic civility, which seems like a lofty goal, <laughs> but also uh, what might radical civility look like um, to be more than just respectful of each other, but to, to listen to each other, to uplift each other, to hold ourselves to a standard beyond just civil. So I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts, see your thoughts on that if you'd like to comment. And uh, wow, we haven't had a sunrise like this in a long time. So I find myself feeling a little gil giddy and, uh, and I will um, sign off and just end us with a couple minutes of this beautiful sunrise and, uh, and that invitation to civility. Grace and peace, friends.